I'm, I'm interested a lot in like in injury rehabilitation, etc. And so I just was trying to see where people fell off or just who wasn't responding. It's a comprehensive evaluation of this, of a sports team here, which has never been done before. And I think it could give like a good baseline for exercise science students to collaborate with sports teams here. So hopefully this will give just a, a baseline for optimizing performance recovery um, throughout any team here at EOU. So a lot of these testing I had exposure to in my, my exercise science classes um, and kind of exposure to using them, so they're all kind of associated with decreasing um, performance. So we're kind of just seeing where that person is able to go, how far they're able to go for how long, and when they, we start to see decreased performance because of these physiological responses. But I think in the end it's going to be a really cool analysis of the, at least the 15 girls that I'm following through this and hopefully give them some insight of how to increase their performance and they could use it later on. Coaches a lot of the time think it's mental toughness that individuals um, that are trying to build and that's why volumes of training are so high. But in reality, like your body can only sustain so much load for so long before it'll give out. And we've been always taught to push through that and find a way, but if we could maybe reel it back in on these athletes when we start to see decreased like performance, so that way in, overall we could optimize their training and optimize their performance like later on in spring season when they start games. My major is physical activity and health with a concentration in exercise science and using all of this equipment I can put down on a resume saying that I know how to run these sophisticated VO2 max tests, the lactate threshold, I've done it 30 times on 30 subjects and so it's, I think that'll, that'll aid me, at least it's more applicable to the physical activity and health side of things. I mean it's something that I've had a background with and struggled with injury throughout my four years of playing and it's something that really interested me was just to see see if I could help them and help them in future. Being a student athlete here was amazing. It was coming from a community college in Seattle. It was really big and there was no close collect connection with the athletes and here I just feel like if you know everybody, everybody kind of says hi to you in the hallway and um, usually teams go out to support each other and I think that's a really important part of the athletics here at EOU. My name is Madison Osterroad and I am a women's soccer student athlete here at Eastern Oregon University.